put a bass in my hands when I was 13. <laughs> and by the time I got really into that, my dad was like, you know, you should really songwrite. My sister and I formed a, an original band and we started playing once a week in, uh, in Austin on 6th Street. Once I started performing more and figuring out what connected with audiences and where they would just kind of get up and go to the bar and get a drink, I learned to really love a great pop melody. Back when I was 19, I had a sort of ex-boyfriend kind of character that went off to Iraq to fight. He was a Marine. Went to my room and wrote a song, and it came out in like 45 minutes. There's something about that song that I knew everybody at that time would want to hear. I immediately called up a local radio station that had played my sister and I when we were playing in Austin. I played it live the next morning. It just spread all over the internet. Sony Epic Records heard it, and from the time that I wrote it to the time it was in stores, it was like two months. I've known her for a number of years. I've known her since she was playing as a kid. We worked together on multiple projects. I mean, she joined Bear 54 Seconds a few years back. You know, when we were looking for a new bass player, I really, she was what I wanted. That was that energy that I was looking for. That's a good bass player. And she's got a sparkly strap. Let me uh, uh, can we cuss here? <laughs> oh, you can just bleep me out? <laughs> Rachel, Rachel's the baddest motherfucker on face. Sorry, she's a bad bitch. <laughs> There's nothing sexier than seeing a beautiful woman play an incredible bass. I feel so, so awesome about my new EP. Musically. Oh man, it's pretty fucking good. Emotionally. She has the ability to feel a tremendous joy and at the same time incredible sorrow. That's a huge gift as a songwriter. Physically. It's got a cute butt. I mean, playing behind somebody, that's important. That's really important. A very fresh approach, very different approach. The new record um, was really, really cool to come up with this stuff. These like really far-fetched spiritual ideas. She felt like she was traveling the line between being organic acoustic sounding. I told her, well, why don't we do it both ways? I like her hair. <laughs> Everything is better than it's ever, ever been. But you all